All right. Did you know the answer to our trivia question? Huh? Can you believe that? Zero points way back in 1937 when Lawrence was a young guy getting ready to come here. <laughs> and then Espanola in 1979. That's closer to your birthday, Lawrence, 1979. All right. This week's play of the week comes to us courtesy of the LaQueva Bear offense. The big man Chris Thompson going vertical over two Carlsbad defenders, making it look fashionable to be a big guy. And I'm with him. That's the way to get it done. Welcome back the Dexter Demons from the ranks of class. Take a break from New Mexico opponents to face a team out of Texas. Demons hosting Tornillo, Texas cheerleaders cheering, the players running out on the field, defense doing work for both teams in the first quarter. Eric Camacho serving up the sack lunch to Dexter quarterback Amador Amaya. Then Amaya finally getting the offense going with the pass to Ismael Moria, setting Dexter up for a score. Dexter first on the board with the field goal, three to nothing in the first. Second quarter, Amador Amaya throwing to Kevin Bonner who makes a leaping grab in the end zone. Dexter goes on to win the game. 38 to eight is the final. Our Lawrence Gilligan back after rounding up last night's action. He was back there rounding up all the highlights from Thursday night for the rewind. Lawrence, fill us in. Yeah, thanks, man. There are three games on tap for you tonight. First up is from right here in the metro area between the El Dorado Eagles and the Volcano Vista Hawks. I tried something different with the shutter there. I know it looks it looks a little weird, a little artsy. Why not? You know, it's a Thursday night recap, huh? Eagles, Hawks in a physical game. First quarter, Volcano gets on the board. Hawks, Dominico Chavez gets the call at the ball. Check out Mr. Chavez breaking off a run for a solid game before being ridden out of bounds. That sets up this TD. A couple of plays later, running back Josh Lubold gets the corner and takes it to the house for the score. It's 6-0 Hawks. El Dorado comes right back with their own scoring drive. Quarterback Zach Gentry looking left and hits Jonah Mestis for a solid gain, moving the chains. Next play, it's Gentry going to the right side to Adam Stempek. Stempek soaring down the sideline until a couple of Hawks force him out of bounds, almost getting into the end zone. It's all right, though. He is going to get in well after this play. Looks like I was a play ahead, huh? What do you guys say? I don't know what, what happened there, but Stempek almost about to score there, and he is going to punch it it right here. Okay, here it is. Mr. Stempak with the ball inside, and he gets in for six. But hey, El Dorado led this game 28 to six at one point until the Hawks rallied from 22 points down in the fourth quarter to pull off a 39-34 win over El Dorado. Alamogordo at the Las Cruces Bulldogs. The Tigers trying to hang in there in this one. It's Conrad Collins to Tanner Graham for the touchdown, but it's the Bulldogs who reign supreme. Running back J.J. Granados breaking off a touchdown run. Las Cruces wins their sixth game of the season. 45-13 is the final. The Valley Vikings at the Albuquerque High Bulldogs. This one is all Vikings. Third quarter, Albuquerque High throwing it up, and it's Valley's Albert Gallegos who comes down with the interception. That leads to the final scoring drive of the game. Backup quarterback Russell Montoya running in on the far side, getting in for the score. Valley goes on a roll. Albuquerque High, 50 to nothing. All right, there's your healthy dose of the Thursday Night Rewind. Volcano Vista improves to 4-3, and three, while Las Cruces is 6-1. and one. The Valley Vikings are now 4-3 and three overall and 2-0 and oh in conference play. As for Albuquerque High, with their loss, they're now 0-7. Oh Back to you. All right, sounds good, Lawrence. Thanks. As promised, eight-man football is up. We start right here in the Metro with the Manal Panthers hosting for a second straight week. We pick it up in the third quarter. Bad snap, and Springer's quarterback pick, picks it up and runs it to a wall of Manal defenders. Drive with stall. Then next possession, Casey Baker with the quick pass, and Nick Cook, who would take it down to the red zone for the Manal Panthers. Next play, give to Zinya Diadi Yura, who takes it in for the easy score. Manal going up for two. Baker with the give again to Diadi Yura, who takes it in again. And that's how you get a two point conversion. Next Springer possession. Back to pass, under pressure. Manal's Greg Bodie says, Give me that. Manal's D doing work all night. That would give the ball back to the offense. Manal driving and Baker, the one-man wrecking crew, takes a snap running with patience. Then boom, hits the hole. Brought down to Springer territory. Then Baker under center, calls his own number, walks into the end zone. This one all Panthers. They win it 58-22. to Our last reel of HD highlights are spun. Football Friday night is all done for another week. On behalf of myself and Lawrence Gilligan, we'll see you next Friday.